Palito, the most influential town right in KZN and it is also the fastest growing wealth area and that is right here in South Africa and also in Africa as a well. And uh, this is Polito Junction Mall. That's how it looks from the outside. It's amazing. It's a beautiful place. It's very beautiful. We're still here to go around and show you around Polito, guys. So This is actually a huge mall guys but I will just do a few parts in there The Balito Junction Mall I'm gonna try to exit it from here and go over to the streets Gracias. Uh. So just gonna just take these steps here. And there is a way that we are just gonna use walking up and down per little. So that I'll be able to show you how per little looks like even the houses i'm also going to be showing you so like i've been saying guys Belito is one of the wealthiest and even fastest growing world areas here in africa you can see this guys this area is so so just wow kept 
it's just beautiful you got to see people who are just uh, you know also strolling it's kind of a little bit it's getting a little hot for this guy in front of me i think he's been walking a long distance but it's not that hot it's just warm and look at this amazing views that side also that's the side that has got the ocean balita one of the wealthiest areas right here in kwazulu natal i won't say it's under Devon because it's some kilometers away from Devon. this area is actually near a king shaka international airport yeah so it's easy to share Uspa, e angazi, ngakambela mangangazi. Ah, these guys they are looking for spa, but I don't know where spa is from here. Also, someone who's just new, and uh, I don't want to give a false, <laughs> a wrong information. I don't know why these guys are going so slow like this, but I don't trust anyone when i'm walking like this especially in areas like this whereby there's no one who's walking you're the only one who's walking everybody's using a car so you must always be vigilant and this is south africa but i don't say there's anything wrong around this area here but it's just some vigilance that you just need to practice even more and more up this way yeah, yeah. and then there's obviously the hole in the wall yeah that's also a very uh, uh, little actually more holiday like <laughs> some would suggest it's more a uh, little Cape Town in KZN and the difference with the uh, with uh, Balito and uh, Omshanga is uh, Omshanga is more of uh, business and here like I've been saying it's more beaches I think you can only hear now birds singing and this road here seems a little bit uh, busy with the cars traffic i mean going up and down but you also have got to find these beautiful buildings like that one so what i'm tr i'm trying to do is i'm trying to take you to the beach it's uh, still a distance going there but you know i'm walk africa I walk, that's what I do. So we're gonna walk going there and in the way going there, on the way going there. I'm gonna keep, be capturing everything that is interesting. Uh, I was talking to one of my of my viewers in, in, on, on the channel. So there's this video, it's a short video. <laughs> that is on the channel it's, it's doing quite well and um it says where are the whites no it doesn't say where are the whites i was actually answering to the question where are the whites in south africa you know so i just i, I did I, I just did that short video and i was trying to show even in uh, downtown part of Durban, you can find whites so <laughs> This guy said, no, there's no more wives there in Devon. Uh, they ran away. I'm sitting here in Palito. I'm sitting here in Palito and just watching the beach. I know in front of my swimming pool. And uh, yeah, you know, so I told him, hey, I'm coming to Palito. I'm going to be doing a video there in Palito. So maybe if you are watching, I'm here. This is Palito for everyone. Guys, South Africa is a beautiful place. And you should uh, really consider coming here and enjoying all these views here. Amazing. So these are the houses you got to find here. They are actually well secured. And it's all about the security companies guarding this area here look at that ocean here can you see it from here i don't know if you can see it well but uh, yeah this is a good view from this area here and let me not try talk too much so that you can 
also hear the sounds of birds even the sound of my footsteps and let's just witness this beauty guys uh, there is this building here I think this building hasn't got anyone it's a dilapidated one I don't know what happened to that building and why maybe someone is not selling it I think I love this area here guys look at it someone will be like come or oh, going up there to his house you've got to like go over here you know when you're coming down with your car and especially when you're coming out and your brakes are not good <laughs> oh my boy this is not a a good area that you should be a living but i love everything of you know what um i'm supposed to be going down there but instead i'm just going to go up instead because i want to show you from this side here i just want to see what's there guys over this hill here and show you the beautiful houses over this side along this street here There are people who are working down there. So this is how beautiful this area looks like. And the homes, as you can see, guys. Let's just go a little bit further there. I want to show you the houses along this street. So this is Palito. And you can see people they're building here. And look at this wall. It's quite a beautiful wall, guys. Someone is renovating his area and making so special as this. And this area is something else, guys. It's quite cool, quieter. And I can see the house on top there. It's a beautiful home actually is a mansion can you see the house that i'm talking about guys there right there on top yeah and this house is at my right and this is palito i had a feeling i must come and do a video here because if in your search you do a search of the richest areas in KZN even in South Africa one of the wealth areas you would find out that Balito is becoming one of those wealthiest areas actually it is growing at a rapid a speed that is now even known the whole africa that that palito is such a beautiful place as you can see it's a very wealthy area look at this house here this is amazing guys i love what i see here And I know you would also love it, guys, if you were to come and see what I see right now. But anyway, let me show you through my lens. You have an example of what South Africa looks like in these areas, the very rich part of South Africa that you don't even know of, guys. You just hear Palito. And uh, as again, it's a mix of races here depends with your pocket if you've got the money you can come and stay here you can buy your property here no fuss i'm sorry again i'm talking too much that that but that is what what makes the video interesting right you want to know about the area 
so like i've been saying don't forget that this is one of the fastest growing world areas in south africa and it's also considered in africa as a as a whole so you can imagine guys that it's true this area is for the rich the riches reside here i would love to reside here that is if i could afford it it's quieter welcoming by uh, south africa is a beautiful country i don't like you so i don't know let's try to get down there I don't know if uh, I'm gonna get where I really want to get you to. This is how this area area looks like. These houses are actually built on hills. You know what? I'll tell you and I would like to testify that KZN KwaZulu Natal province here in South Africa, here's the most beautiful landscape ever. And it's a good thing, you know, if you are someone who's residing here and taking a walk, jogging, you know, going over these hills, it's quite a good exercise than just running on, running on a flat lane, you know. Areas like this, you can see, look at it. It's a hill right now, I'm going down. You know, I'm ascending, I'm descending, I mean. Look at this house here. Whew. I'm telling you guys, there are beautiful villas around here. And I'm just gonna be showing you this uh, this area as well that they call a Balito Skyboard Club right here. So it's a Skyboard Club, I'm sure. The people who comes here, or the people who stays around here, you know what's really happening by this Balito Skyboard Club. I think it's about boats and all that bought house as you can see it's an area that is very close to to the sea so this area is very close to the sea to merely come park here and watch the uh, watch the ocean from your car as I can see here you can really see the amazing beach down there it's not really with so many people but the fact that i just want to show you how it looks like here in belito and i think the reason why maybe it doesn't have many people is it should be it's because i'm shooting this video on a monday most probably there are no people all right let's get back there to the beach and let me just show you how it looks like from the other side and i i believe if it was on a weekend these areas i think it really gets packed up with people but then it's a monday monday afternoon and this is how it looks like let's so let's get down there to the beach and let's walk down there so all we are going to do is just walk this pathway here along the beach and you can see there are a few people there just the, enjoying the uh, I just enjoying the sun and sun bathing I think these guys who are 
running uh, sizing that's that's all about this site here if you are here you could be doing you know what those guys are doing whether maybe you come to see them but also this area here you can see it's rocky as well but i think it has got better places where you can go swimming you can see this is how it looks like and this is balito for you guys all right it's written here help keep balito clean and safe exactly that's all you need to do keep the area safe and go there enjoy yourselves just like what these guys are doing here can see that guys wow that's the crazy part of uh, of Belicha those are the Amachichi they, they call themselves Amachichi means the virgins the Zulu virgins so it's a Zulu nation here It's a Zulu nation around here guys, KwaZulu Natal, it's all Zulu nation and you can see the beauty of this area here. See guys, it's only that this area is an area for the rich, it's well taken care of but if you are, I'm just giving my, 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 my personal opinion, if you check these beaches they are really rocky as you can see. Ah, oh, there is a toilet here. Yeah, like I was saying, guys, I'm just giving my personal opinion. This area here, it doesn't have what I would think the best um, the beaches because it's really, really rocky. All you can do there is just to walk, but swimming, it, it will be kind of a little bit difficult that's my own observation my own opinion i don't know what you guys think but this area is a worth worth a very wealthy area that's why it's well kept as it is by little it is what it is but the beaches there in uh, like the devon south beach north beach those beaches you know it's all sand they're beautiful can be swimmable because you can see they are sandy plenty of sand no rocks so you see guys you can walk and walk further going this side and i'm telling you all you see is those beautiful views the beautiful houses one of the wealthy upcoming towns in uh, south africa look at that Pali, Palito. Ooh, these names. I think these areas that I'm walking now, the guest houses, restaurants somewhere around, and these nice trees. This is the Palito for you. From Durban, it's an hour and it's an hour or so, plus 60 minutes when you're driving. And I think it all depends with your with your speed let me just confirm something to from this guy here i guess i think this street i've been just walking it's all business but if you your branch like getting in in those streets like this one here you will start to see i think different homes and some of these houses they are actually like an old old architect i don't know if this this place here is actually an old town but now growing at such a pace of becoming one of the best in africa i don't know about that you might help me 
because there are some of the houses that I see they're really old though the rich are staying here it's unlike some of the houses that unlike uh, Mshanga you can see Mshanga has spicy houses even here but to me they look a little bit old 